Hey everyone, Scott JUA from Crucible Custom Props, uh, Northworks Lab, and all the uh, forms. This is an MGC Luke Skywalker blaster from Empire Strikes Back. Um, this one is for James, and he sent me this MGC um, a while ago, and we wanted to put a blaster core in it. So this is the second, only the second I've ever done on an MGC with electronics in it because there's really not much room in there to do anything. There's plenty of room inside the magazine well, but there's not room inside um, the action for electronics because uh, it has a locking frame and everything like a real Mauser does. And you really, and I have to mill channels for 30 gauge wire to just kind of snake through in certain spots to make it all fit. So I figured it out again, since my uh, New Hope was the first one that I'd ever, I'd ever done to do that. And um, this one worked out quite well, since I already knew what I was doing. But we made the decision to not put an auxiliary button on this blaster because we did really there was no place to do it down here. Um, didn't want to put a giant recharge port in the in the grip frame, and didn't want to put any buttons to kind of ruin the look. Wanted it to look more like a static prop would, uh, but with the ability to have sounds. And also the MGCs have, um, the solid barrel ones, even the hollow barrel ones have um, a, th a hardened steel rod going through there so they can't ever be made to fire. But uh, there's no way for me to, I can't, I've tried drilling through one before and I just couldn't do it, not with a normal tooling. So, and a carbide uh, really long extension drill bit would just be uh, quite, quite uh, more than it's really worth to do it. Because these these this old Zamac is getting very brittle, and I've had lots of MGC parts break or come to me broken, and they just would crumble. I didn't really want to take the chance with that kind of stuff, not just for a little LED light, so it's not worth uh, the trouble on MGCs as far as I'm concerned. That said, when it did come, it was missing the sight ramp and uh, the internal. Um, it was missing the locking uh, block for the internal frame. Now I'm not gonna take it apart and show you. In fact, this is also the instructions for James, and James never, never, never disassemble this at all. It's pretty much set up in a way to where it will work safely with electronics in it, but if you disassemble it at all, um, you're probably not gonna get it back together without destroying something, and that'll be really bad. So just don't do it. Um, in fact, I've put a little block here so that the uh, locking frame latch um, won't, uh, won't just push up and you can't, it won't accidentally come apart. So anyway, that said, it does have a blaster core 5.0 in it. Oh, uh, let me back up. So the, the locking frame, um, I'm sorry, the locking block was missing. So I had to machine that from scratch aluminum, which is much stronger than this, uh, this pot metal alloy. And it was a really complicated and pain in the butt to make, but um, took some hand filing in the end because I just, even though I machined it and used the dimensions from one of my other MGCs, it still needed some fitting to get everything to work right. And I made the piece, that piece, and the, also the little, the, um, little coupler for the locking frame to the, um, to the lug. And I had to make those parts from scratch. And they were that's quite a lot of work for those little pieces, but there's no way to get replacement pieces, so you kind of have to do that. Uh, what else can I tell you? This is a uh, cast Greeley. Uh, it came with the original, with the red nine grips, but that's fine. Um, the, the real MGC grips are pretty hard to come by. But uh, in my opinion, these plastic grips make, they feel better and they also uh, make better sound. So and the, one of the things we did since the sight ramp was missing was this is a real Mauser sight ramp. I don't have the slider for it. If um, we can find one someday that can be fit pretty easily, no problem. But for now, at least it has the sight ramp on there with a Graflex spring in there. So it's a really strong spring and it's got a Star Wars tie in to Luke. Um, I machined, I milled down the top of the bolt to make it look better and also added the uh, its own serial number and stampings um, per a wartime commercial or pre-war commercial Mauser would have. Um, this uh, bracket is scratch built. I built this. 
Um, I have a problem. Well, I could have used the Boba Dett one, but uh, I find that his uh, dimensions are a little bit too skinny right here. So I make this one from scratch. In fact, I'll probably be making the rest of them from scratch from here on out. And then uh, this is a Boba Dett uh, knob, but then I prototyped that for him, so it's pretty much how I would make it anyway. This is the Boba Dett Cast Deluxe Scope. So this is cast brass, has uh, real glass lenses on it, and it's got the weight of a real scope and a Boba Dett uh, flash hider. So that's about that. And the electronics are pretty simple. It's a blaster core 5.0 recharge port and kill key right down here. No auxiliary button, so this just has a typical DL44 blaster sound. It's got a very light tactile switch set up for the trigger. You can fire it in any mode, um, close like this. You can have the hammer open, since it's a very light trigger. But you can also, if you pull a little harder, release the hammer. Um, you can put the safety on. It'll work either way. So it'll work in any fashion you really want. But uh, with these old pot metal uh, MGCs, I really recommend not dry firing the hammer too much. Um, just fire it like this. But you can do whatever you want. But I caution against uh, dry firing the MGCs too much as uh, that this Zamac is getting really brittle. And um, the, this one in particular had some broken parts on the internal, so that tells me that this one's already getting kind of brittle and I wouldn't want the hammer to, to break off or something weird like that. So best not to dry fire the hammer too much. It's not gonna hurt it a couple times. Um, but uh, for just for farting around, just you have a really light pair right there. And uh, that's, really, that's really pretty much it. It's fairly loud as long as your hand's not blocking the hole. Um, I have the uh, sound being vented right through here, through this, this stock slot. So that's it, guys. Oh, I almost dropped it. That wouldn't be good. But anyway, so there's this uh, pretty accurate Luke Skywalker DL44 on an MGC with Blaster Core 5.0 and some real Mauser parts and lots of custom made internal parts that no one will ever see. But I did take a couple pictures. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.